It's been a while since the last time space fans heard a presentation about Elon Musk's SpaceX, the last one being in February of 2022. Despite the numerous significant developments that have unfolded in 2023, the company hasn't hosted a dedicated update presentation at Starbase for its devoted fans as it did in the past. However, the wait is nearly over as Elon Musk is gearing up for a much anticipated appearance at IAC 2023 on October 5th alongside IAF President Clay Mowry. The presentation is expected to be the most comprehensive update on SpaceX's plans for the Starship and Super Heavy, and for interplanetary space travel in general in more than a year. What will Musk talk about? Let's find out in today's episode of Great SpaceX. Elon Musk, founder, CEO, and CTO of SpaceX, has been announced as a winner among individuals for the IAF World Space Award for 2023, a prestigious award that recognizes a most eminent person and or team who has made an exceptional impact to the progress of the world's space activities through their outstanding contribution in space science, space technology, space medicine, space law, or space management, and exceptional impact to the world's progress in astronautics. With this regard, the IAF statement reads, Mr. Elon Reeve Musk has shown a visionary understanding of the role and importance of astronautics to humanity's future combined with a willingness to commit his own resources, life, and drive, as well as ability to make it happen through Space Exploration Technologies Corporation, or SpaceX, a company that has matched the achievements of the space agencies in the fields of launch systems and human spaceflight, making space affordable and building space. With this award, Elon Musk will be present in Baku, Baku, Azerbaijan next week and to share SpaceX's vision. This is considered Elon Musk's first presentation to the audience about SpaceX in 2023. SpaceX's Starship rocket and its Super Heavy booster are designed to be a fully reusable launch system for deep space missions to the Moon, Mars, or elsewhere in the solar system. Musk first unveiled plans for Starship in 2016. It was a initially called the Interplanetary Transport System, and later the Big Falcon Rocket, and has issued periodic updates on its design over the years leading up to a series of suborbital test flights earlier this year. Sadly, the latest one ended in an explosion. SpaceX is very eager to launch its next Starship vehicle to orbit from its Texas location. It's the primary place where SpaceX has been building prototypes of the rocket, the same one where the company has conducted a few high-altitude test flights of the vehicle. But in order to go orbital from Texas, the company first needs the green light from the FAA. The agency is responsible for issuing licenses for rocket launches to orbit, to ensure they don't damage uninvolved people or property. So, now, perhaps the most the pressing topic is the Federal Aviation Administration's ongoing review of SpaceX's proposed launch facility in Boca Chica, Texas. In an interview, the FAA Associate Administrator for Commercial Space Transportation said his office was working well with SpaceX to confirm that the company had implemented the corrective actions from a mishap investigation the FAA formally closed on September 8th related to public safety. The head of the Federal Aviation Administration's Commercial Space Transportation Office says he believes that the FAA can wrap up safety reviews needed to update the SpaceX Starship launch license by the end of October, but that a concurrent environmental review is a wild card to that schedule. With that deadline coming up, the timing of Musk's presentation next week doesn't feel like a deliberate coincidence. Musk has a history of putting public pressure on the FAA when the regulator doesn't make the decisions he likes with regard to his rocket launch. Musk may also give updated timelines for Starship milestones, which he usually does during these presentations. There's also the topic of SpaceX's ongoing partnership with NASA and the Pentagon. NASA awarded SpaceX $2.9 billion to develop Starship as a human lunar lander that can take NASA astronauts to and from the surface of the moon in support of its Artemis program. As of now, NASA is aiming to conduct its first human landings with Starship as early as 2025, though that date is also considered fairly aspirational. Any updates on NASA and SpaceX working relationship would be useful. One thing that would be nice for Musk to talk about is any updated plans for human survival on Starship. 
Most of the presentations in the past have revolved around the impressive specs and mechanics of the vehicle, while Musk usually brushes aside questions about life support systems, radiation shielding, and other technology related to human comfort. But Starship is primarily a passenger vehicle, and those sorts of technologies are going to become necessary as SpaceX makes its way through the development process. However, Starship isn't just intended for human use. SpaceX also has grand plans to use the spacecraft to launch its next-generation satellite satellites for its Starlink project, a massive mega-constellation of satellites in low Earth orbit designed to provide broadband internet services to the ground below. SpaceX previously filed an updated license with the Federal Communications Commission to launch its upgraded, larger Starlink satellites on Starship. As for updates on the vehicles themselves, it's hard to know what Musk could say that isn't known already. SpaceX's operations in Boca Chica have become fairly public as teams of enthusiasts have started camping out around the facility, live streaming views of daily operations there. In any case, there will definitely be many interesting things to hear, so let's just wait and see. Next up for our news today, Falcon Heavy launch. Falcon Heavy was also expected to launch on the same day with Musk participating in the presentation, but is being delayed a week to allow verifications of parameters used by the spacecraft's thrusters. Liftoff on a SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket is now scheduled for no earlier than October 12th. NASA said the one-week delay decided during a flight readiness review for the mission will give engineers more time to verify parameters used for nitrogen cold gas thrusters that orient the spacecraft. Those parameters required changes after engineers concluded that the thrusters would operate at warmer temperatures than previously predicted. It's so important that we get this right. These thrusters aren't the main propulsion system, but they matter, especially right after launch, and we want to make sure we are using them in a very robust way when they are needed, said Laurie Leshen, director of the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, which is leading the mission in a social media post. The delay takes away one week from a three-week launch period for Psyche. The spacecraft has daily instant instantaneous launch opportunities from October 12th through the 25th that would allow it to fly its trajectory to the main belt asteroid Psyche. That trajectory was revised last year when the spacecraft missed its original launch date of August 2022 because of software testing problems. An investigation into that delay uncovered significant institutional problems at JPL that contributed to the slip, which the independent panel that led that review said in June have since been addressed. The delay increased the cost of the mission from just, un just under a billion dollars to 1.2 billion and pushed back the spacecraft's arrival at the asteroid from 2026 to 2029. Once at the asteroid, it will spend two years in a series of progressively lower orbits to study the structure and composition of the asteroids, the first solar system body made primarily of metal to be visited by a spacecraft. At a September 6th briefing, project officials said they were working with no issues with the spacecraft, making no mention at the time of any concerns about the spacecraft's cold gas thrusters. The main uncertainty at the time was whether a potential federal government shutdown in October because of a lapse in appropriations might affect the mission. NASA officials said on September 28th that the Psyche launch has been classified as an expected activity and will be allowed to proceed if there is a shutdown. That shutdown looks increasingly likely as neither the House nor the Senate has yet passed a continuing resolution that would fund the government on a temporary basis as the new fiscal year starts on the 1st of October. Well, that's it for today, folks. Thank you so much for watching, and if you want to support our channel and get access to exclusive content, please consider becoming a patron by clicking the link in the description below. We appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration. As always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up.